So I just wanted to reach in on this Thursday because it's time to have another Thursday therapy session. Because I know that you told somebody something that was very personal and dear to your heart. Somebody that you trusted. Somebody that you thought that you could really, you know, depend on because you felt like that they proved that they were trustworthy enough to carry the weight of something that you fight, of something that you are fearful of, of something that you wrestle with and have wrestled with. And so you confided in someone and they took that and they used it against you. That one thing that you told them that you fought with and that you wrestled with, that you fear, that you still struggle with, they took that and they used it as a weapon against you and they tortured you with that. I want to reach out to you today. I want to reach out to somebody that trusted the enemy. See, the enemy will come every time and the enemy will camouflage themselves in people. The enemy is like a roaring lion, lion, you know, just going to and fro, waiting to devour its next prey. The enemy will masquerade themselves in a friend or significant other and will get you to open up to tell your deepest secrets and they will use that against you and torture you with the very thing that you told them that you wrestle with, that you told them that you feared, that you told them that you really still struggle with that one thing. I want you to know that if God is for you, he's more than the world against you. I want you to know that it's okay that you feel that you got tricked. It's okay that you feel that you got baited and switched. It's okay if you feel that you got bamboozled. But God has a way of taking even that situation and twisting it and flipping that to work out for your good. See, God already knew that that person was your enemy, but he allowed that person in your space to condition you for your mission on earth, to give you more power over the thing that you wrestle with to mo the most, to get you delivered from the affliction of that, to remove the sting of the thing that you told to that person. See, a lot of times when we're wrestling against something that we've been wrestling against for so many years, we fear that. But God will allow enemy to show up and use that to where your fear lists. He will allow that same situation to play out so that you can be the master of that situation. So that you can chase away every demon from hell that thought that they could use that one stronghold, that one thing that happened to you, that one thing that you feared the most, whether it's fear, whether it's drug addiction, whether it's sex addiction, whether it's abandonment issues, whether it's anger issues, whether it is being sick in your body, whether it's being losing your mind and suffering with depression and anxiety, he will take that and twist it around to give you what I like to refer to as not only victory, but spiritual immunity. So that if you so happen to tell someone that this is something that I really struggle with, if they try to use it against you, what used to sting, what used to burn, and what used to hurt doesn't hurt anymore because you have power over it. God allowed you to say, well, doggone biscuits. I told them and they used it against me and it didn't work. I said it and they used it against me and it didn't burn anymore. They left and 
I don't care. They told somebody this and it doesn't impact me anymore. As a matter of fact, it gave me more joy. As a matter of fact, it gave me even more power. As a matter of fact, it gave me another pebble to step on on my way to victory. As a matter of fact, what it did for me is it showed me that I'm right on schedule, that I'm right on pace, that greater is in me that could ever be in this place. It showed me that I am on the path to righteousness. It showed me that I am almost there because what you tried to take that I shared so deeply with you enemy and flip it and use it against me i want to let you know that it did not work go ahead and tell the devil baby it did not work the fact that you tried to do it to me baby it did not hurt as a matter of fact i'm already immune to it as a matter of fact baby i've already got that shot as a matter of fact i got the booster i just want to let you know from a spiritual perspective chosen ones what they tried to hurt you with didn't work you told it to them and they used it against you. It didn't hurt because God allowed you to see how the devil will show up in your life so that you can stop allowing certain people with the same resume to take seat in your life, to be on your telephone, to be in your car, to be in your home. If they got that on their resume, God is saying, don't take them into your, your experience. If they got that on their resume, God is saying, don't hire them for that job. If they got that on their resume, may and say don't use my past against me no that's the devil if they got that on their resume keep it moving in the name of jesus it doesn't hurt anymore it don't sting no more i can still say hallelujah evermore because greater is he that is in me and even though you told them that and they tried to use it it just wasn't the same, the same because you have been renewed, redeemed, and made whole. Isn't that amazing? I love you guys, and I still believe in you. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bye now.